is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, I yield to the ranking member. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Green, for yielding to me. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chairman and members, these issues are very clear. It's nothing complicated about this bill. It's nothing complicated about my amendment. It is very simple. What this bill is doing is creating risk for investors by lowering the amount of capitalization uh, to an amount to those who will not have the kind of uh, analyst oversight, to those who have not demonstrated uh, their ability, to those who we don't know much about and the SEC will not know much about. Uh, and this underlying McCarthy bill would preserve the SEC's waiver authority, which they've used permissibly like a rubber stamp my amendment cracks down on these waivers. That's very simple. Um, the chairman talked about not having had this issue discussed when we had hearings. The first time this issue ever made it into the public domain was April 28th, when an SEC commissioner finally pushed for a commission vote on a waiver after years of staff doing it via delegated authority. The other issue that has been brought up about whether or not there's due process. The firms get due process with the DOJ, DOJ and with regulators once they admit guilt or plead guilty or are convicted. We want to stop the SEC's permissive waiver policy. The SEC has become simply a rubber stamp on Wixies even after convictions. Now, Mr. Chairman, I respect the fact that you have offered to work with us on this amendment, but there's really nothing to work on. There's nothing that I can see with this amendment that I would be willing to modify, that I would be willing to eliminate. This is what oversight is all about on this committee. And I am saying, and others are saying on this committee, that if you are convicted of wrongdoing in all the ways that I have identified in my testimony here today, that you should not be eligible for a waiver. That just does not make good sense. That is not good public policy. And so I would ask us to move forward with the vote, vote it up or down. Either you are for protecting the investors and you're pro protecting uh, the ability to know and understand uh, who these people are or you're not. So I would just ask for, um, and I vote on my amendment, uh, because there's nothing really to negotiate here. 